After your mechanical design is finished, it's time to export your files into a format that the Stratus software can understand and slice. So if you notice this bracket, we're finished with the design of the bracket. We're ready to export this. And the file type we want to use is an STL file. So I'm going to go to File, Save As. Notice this was a part file. And I'm going to change it from computer bracket, bracket to .stl. Notice I've already created one, so I'll just override the overwrite this as I create it. So I'll go into the options. And these are the default options. Um, the most important thing about the export process is that even though I drew this in inches, I'm going to be exporting it if I don't change this in millimeters. So the first thing I'm going to do is make sure I'm exporting it in inches. The Stratus software all expects inches and an STL file is unit blind so the, um, you have to know how you exported it to understand how to import it. So that's very important this is changed to inches. The other thing that I typically change is the deviation and the angle of the tolerance. Notice this is set to the fine resolution and the circles look pretty good. But if I change it to custom I can see that by moving the deviation all the way down the outside edge becomes jagged and not as smooth of a circle. Whereas if I take it all the way to the other end, it becomes as smooth as possible. A lot of times resolution issues on the 3D printer are more from the X STL export than they are from the tolerance of the machine. I definitely don't want that to be the case. The same with the angle. The angle controls interior, the smoothness of the circles on the interior. So again, I'm going to take them to the highest values. The only time I won't do that is if the file becomes extremely large over let's say a gig or a gig and a half in size but we'll be well under that for this simple part um, so since this is a part file all I needed to do is change it uh, units to inches and uh, adjust the resolution output as binary is, is fine and these ones um, we don't need to worry about so I'll click OK click save it tells me it already exists I'll say I want to replace it and it creates 18,000 triangles and makes something that's almost one megabyte in size. So I'll click yes to finish the save. That's finished that export. The other file that I have open here is, is possibly you have an assembly. And this is most likely the case when you want to print something that's pre-assembled. So notice there are two parts here. The maybe frame is the surrounding part and the maybe block is the portion that goes on the inside and they're not physically attached to each other they're definitely not one part and and yet I want to print them in exactly this orientation so how do I do that well I'll, again I'll go to file save as I'll change it to an STL file this is an assembly now and not a part I'll go into options and because I want to print the two parts together I need to make sure I save all components of an assembly as a single file. So I need to make sure that box is checked. Everything else is okay. I'm still in inches. Uh, the deviation and angle are both the way, uh, highest possible. And I'll click OK and save. And it lets me know it already exists. I'll replace it again. And now I've made something that appears to be about half a meg in size. So again, it's not too large. And I'll click yes to complete the save.